What's going on, you guys? It's Scott from Fly Rides back again today with another quick bike breakdown for you guys. Today we are checking out the Gazelle Ultimate C380, an update to last year's Gazelle Ultimate T10. You are, of course, still getting Dutch design with that ultra low step frame, an upright ride, powerful assistance from the Bosch Performance Line motor. But your main update is coming in that C380 name. You are getting an Enviolo stepless hub, which means you are getting endless gears on a 380% gear ratio transmission. We will be breaking into the specs of this bike in just a second. But before we do that, I am going to encourage you to subscribe to the Fly Rides electric bike channel if you are doing electric bike research. We will have reviews on the top commuting bikes for 2021. So if you're looking for a leisure or commuting bike, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's get into the specs. So we teased that drivetrain a little bit already, but it is the headline feature on this bike. The Enviolo C380 hub is really unlike any other drivetrain out there. It's completely stepless, which means there are no set gears, which means there are infinite gears within this drivetrain. With the Gates carbon belt drive, it is basically indestructible. And paired with this already excellent commuting bike, it really makes the Gazelle Ultimate C380 a top contender for 2021. If you are not familiar with Gates Carbon Belt Drives at this point, I'll direct you towards our video with them at Eurobike 2019. But in short, they are a cleaner and longer lasting alternative to a traditional chain. This drivetrain is partnered with the Bosch Performance Line motor offering 65 newton meters of torque and 20 mile per hour speeds. What I'm most impressed about with this new Bosch Performance Line motor is how quiet it is even on the climbs in turbo. You really cannot hear this motor. This version of the Bosch motor is about as quiet as a bros motor. Rounding out the group set are Shimano hydraulic disc brakes front and rear. These are going to be four piston and on a 180 millimeter rotor in the front and a 160 millimeter rotor in the back. Gazelle definitely designed this bike with comfort in mind with things like the Cell Royal saddle and a fully adjustable stem, which means you can be as upright as you would like to be. In addition to those comfort features, they have you set up with some suspension in the front fork for those really rough roads. Gazelle sets you up with everything you would want on a commuter, including fenders and integrated lights, but they really excel where other companies don't in their integrated rear rack, which carries up to 60 pounds and an integrated cafe lock for those quick stops. I always love riding Gazelle bikes and this bike was definitely no exception. I love being completely upright. You can really see your surroundings and those with back issues or if you don't like being hunched over a handlebar, I think you'll really appreciate having that adjustable stem. I was trying to decide if this was a better bike for leisure riders or commuters, but I think it is equally good for both. I think everyday riders will love the set it and forget it nature of the Enviolo hub and the reliability of the Bosch motor. And I think those that are only getting out on the weekends or occasionally will like the same things. It's the type of bike that you're not going to have to worry about before you get on for a ride. There's no derailleur to tune or anything like that. All you got to do is make sure the battery is charged up and ready to go. By the way, it's a 500 watt hour battery, which should get you anywhere from about 25 miles if you want to ride in turbo the whole time, up to 60 or 70 miles if you're riding in eco. But I think both types of riders, commuters and leisure riders will appreciate where this bike excels. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Fly Rides Electric Bike channel. Leave a comment below if you have any questions about it, and we will see you guys next time.